You know, it's been a great run since January. One to go, obviously intention to try and finish on a high and make it a special day here. Yeah, um, if the message has been positive with the players all week that we want to finish on a high, we want to finish with a win. Because um, if you don't, it can leave a bit of taste. Um, it's our last home game. We want to, to win that for our supporters. And then obviously the player of the year do on, on Sunday. And we, we want to make sure we've won the game for that. And then the summer itself, um, you don't want to end with a with a defeat. So, yeah, full tilt and ready to play and, and win the game, hopefully. Yeah, talking to spectators, sadly they weren't in last year when you had the, the great promotion success. So, I don't know whether Saturday will sort of reflect that, but it, hopefully, as you say, a bit of celebratory weekend. And on Sunday night, we'll briefly look back at that because they were deprived of that. But I think they've enjoyed what they've seen this year. Yeah, I mean, we, we're all disappointed that we're not in the shake-up. Um, but I think what we have seen is progression. Um, we've building structures and foundations will, which will give us an opportunity to have, to have success. Um, we're pleased with the second half of the season in particular and there's lots of things to be excited about for next year but yeah we're looking forward to, to, to playing the game and hopefully getting a win and then spending some time with our supporters after the game and thanking them for all their support and their efforts and then obviously looking forward to Sunday and, and having an event on like that when we've been missing that type of thing with Covid and the pandemic so yeah, lots of things to look forward to. And if you do get uh, a point, at least a point on, on Saturday, that guarantees a top 10 finish, which again, I think is not important, but a nice thing given what you've, you've done this season. Yeah, and there's still an opportunity to get ninth, uh, depending on obviously the Sheffield Wednesday and Portsmouth result and, and how we get on. But as I said, we just need to take care of our own business. Obviously, there's something on the game. Mm -hmm. Fleetwood are fighting for their lives in a relegation fight, and, and we have to make sure that we are professional and, and and do our job um, for ourselves more than anything else. Um, yeah, we're looking forward to the game and, and, and hopefully a good performance and a good three points. Yeah, as you say, very much makes it a live fixture given what Fleetwood have got something to play for, which uh, does uh, give them every incentive, doesn't it? And it makes it a, a proper game, if you like, to finish the season. I think the attitude of the players, I have to say, has been first class, though. We've, we've not really been able to, to move up or down for, for recent weeks, but what we have done is remained professional and committed and and we've shown that with our results and performances and I thought second half at Cheltenham last mm. week was exceptional and hopefully we can take that into Saturday and have another good performance. Yeah, because you ate on beaten you on this nice little run of wins. It is, as you say, credit really to everybody, I think, to sort of keep the, keep the flame burning. Yeah, I mean, we have to set standards. Um, standards come from the very top and, and Sharon sets those with her brilliant leadership and, and then I set them on the, on the football department that whether we're doing a simple passing drill or or anything else, it has that same importance and you want to do it to the best of your ability. Um, and the players have, have got that mindset and attitude now and we're seeing that on Saturdays with our performances. And the entertainment factor has been high, hasn't it? And that's ultimately what the, the fans come to see. You know, there's, there's been goals scored. As you said, Cheltenham last week, the second half of the football was outstanding and that's been uh, a real plus as well. Yeah, th there's been lots of positives and pluses this season. There's been some negatives as well and we mustn't forget those. but. As I said, we have to have some perspective and for a newly promoted team to have the potential to get 73 points, which I think six out of the last seven seasons would have been in and around the playoffs, is a good achievement. And as I said, we're not happy that we're not in the shake-up, but there's things to progress from and improve on for next season, which looks very exciting. I know you're not going to get a rest because there's a lot of things to do for any manager in pre-season, but uh, is everybody ready for a bit of a breather? I mean, it's a 46-game season, it's, it's a long old slog, but uh, nice just to have a chance to take stock and, and build again. Yeah, I mean, it'll, it'll nice to, to be nice to have an hour off. Um, but, but yeah, we, um, we've got lots of things to do. Um, I believe that, like anything in life, you, you get out of it what you put in. And we put in, not just myself, all of the staff, lots and lots of hours to try and give us the best possible chance of success and, and that will remain the same in, in the summer. We want to hit the ground running next season and lots of work to be done to enable that to happen. Mm. The last uh, team news question of, of the season. Uh, we know obviously that the longer term absentees are not going to be back and MJ will miss Saturday after he hurt his hand last weekend. Yeah, he broke his hand, quite a, quite a nasty break, so he'll miss Saturday. It's not too serious, but serious enough to keep him out and we don't really want to take any risks anyway. So yeah, there are opportunities for players. We've, as I said, we've got a really strong squad now, and we're able to 
to shake it about a little bit, but um, as I said, whatever team I pick, I'll, I'll be expecting us to win the game. Carl Dempsey came in last week and did very well in the second half. It's a funny one for him tomorrow because he played for Fleetwood and he played for Gillingham, didn't he? So I suppose that all he can do is, as you say, be professional, go out and win the game and see what happens. To yeah, I mean, Kyle's clubs. focused on his role here mm. and focused on on number one getting himself 100% and then number two performing the way he can. And I thought he was brilliant when he mm. came on second half on Saturday. And yeah, he'll be looking forward to the game, no doubt. And just lastly, the longer term injury, lads, hopefully will I be back for pre-season? Will you have a clean bill of health for pre-season? Is everybody going to hopefully hit the ground running? I, I think they'll all be at different stages, but they'll all be able to take part. Um, I think Josh Sheehan and Lloyd Isgrove will be back full running by that, that time, so they'll be, enabled, well, they'll be able to join in the pre-season slog, so to speak. Um, there'll be no issues with Rico and, and Kieran, they'll be fully fit and ready to go.